can offer. So I made an offer of 30 million to him. So he told me to just hold on a minute that I should shut and shut my mouth and wait for us to test drive the car. Then I will hear the sound of the car to find out that the car is actually what what I'm thinking. And he told me the car is a 2021 model. So I said, okay, I volunteered for us to go for a test drive. So on our way for the test drive, we passed through a, a long roundabout. So he said I should stop, I should quickly pull over for us to get some gas in the car for us to continue our test drive. So I pulled over to the first station. So he told me to wait for him that he's going to get some cash from a POS point across. So I waited some couple of minutes, over 30 minutes, he wasn't showing up and they were already queued at my back at the petrol station. So I had to pull over a bit for other cars to come by so we could get some petrol. So I waited over two hours, he wasn't showing up and it was already daytime, close to 6 p.m. at that time. So he was already calling me and I tried to call him back, his, his number was switched off. I didn't know the exact point I was at at that moment, so I had to use um, the nearest um, filling station to put some gas in the car because he didn't come back. The vehicle was recovered, but then the suspect was still at large. Investigation did not stop there. We continued what we were doing until we got another intel that the suspect is in Benin. We swung into action, arrested him this morning, and the CP directed that they bring the suspect down to Asaba so 